Clover No Lack. Lactose free milk that lets you enjoy dairy again. Made with love by Clover. Let's now continue with our Health Tuesday. Over the last few weeks, we've really had our eyes open making some truly delicious and creamy lactose-free dishes with Clover No Lack lactose-free medium fat milk. Now, we've got our expert nutritionist and friend, Dr. Nokukanya Kanilie, here to give us some more information about lactose intolerance. Doc, welcome back. Good morning, everybody. Oh, that's the kind of energy <laughs> I was looking for. Yeah, baby. Um, so good to have you here. You look absolutely gorgeous this morning thank so you very um, much. thank you for bringing this shining light into our <laughs> studio this is something we've obviously working on the inside have had an opportunity to come to terms with because we've made some amazing recipes with um, obviously our no lack but I didn't realize how many people are affected by lactose intolerance so maybe a good place to start with is exactly what lactose intolerance is can you explain Sure. So lactose is a compound of uh, two components, and that's glucose and galactose. And that's found in a lot of dairy products. So if you can imagine your best friend when you were growing up who always used to get into trouble with you. When... <laughs> Maybe you were that one. You were the friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was definitely that person. <laughs> so when the two of you are together, you go around wreaking havoc in the body, and your mom is an enzyme called lactase. And lactase is responsible for breaking up the two molecules so that your body can absorb them in the small intestine. Now, the problem with lactose intolerance is that you have a deficiency of this enzyme. And Mom's that, not there. <laughs> Mom's not there. And when mom is not home, it goes down. And so what happens is you get a buildup of this lactose molecule, and that causes the symptoms that a lot of people complain of. Um, we'll, we'll delve a little deeper into the symptoms, but one thing I've always wanted to know is, are you born with it? Is, do you have a genetic predisposition, or is it something that can build over time? Do you build up a, an intolerance? Mm. So you can be born with it, but it's really rare. And those are more like classic galactosemia, galactosemia, excuse me, and those are congenital forms. There are some people who are born with it and that will cause moms to have to change the milk that they give to babies. Um, for older people, there's more commonly something called a primary lactose intolerance. And that develops just after childhood where you get low levels of the lactase enzyme and sometimes even to dropping the levels. But you'll find that a lot of people will grow up saying, I ate ice cream as a child, everything was great, and then I suddenly got older and then I wasn't able to eat any dairy. A lot of um, other forms called secondary lactose intolerance also occurs. So that's in people who have acute periods of stress or illness with a healthy gut. And that's just because of damage to the mucosal lining. So that could be after an accident, especially antibiotics that damage the mucosal lining of the gut, and also people who have um, chemotherapy or long-term medication. Um, that's why you know, we focus so much on putting back into the body, when you, mm. especially with antibiotics and that sort of thing, to make yeah. sure that your gut is healthy. And it's amazing how you process stress mm. in your gut, around your soda plexus. That's amazing to me. So what are some of those more intense symptoms of lactose intolerance? When do you kind of start to get a clue that maybe you have lactose intolerance as opposed to a little indigestion? <laughs> so what will happen is you'll see that there's a relation between you intaking some kind of dairy. So it could be milk, cheese, yogurt. Um, and you'll find that because the lactose lactose enzyme is so big, it pulls molecules of water into your gut. So that's why people will experience symptoms of diarrhea. And also into the lining of the gut, they get discomfort or a little bit of bloating that can occur. Um, because bacteria in the gut, which are sometimes healthy bacteria, them, yeah. love, love the lactose enzyme, because uh, the molecule, because what happens is they use that as nutrients to keep proliferating and growing. Oh, you get they? gas that forms. <laughs> and that's the uncomfortable feeling of having gas in your system, bloating, and some people can even have severe forms where they just are unable to focus on their day because the cramps are so bad. Um, and it's, you know, no joke, it really can be quite serious in the way that it exhibits. So then we look to the answer, one answer that we've discovered on the show, Clover No Lack, how can that help or something like that help to reduce the symptoms? Yeah, so because it's lactose free, it doesn't have any lactose and also has enzymes that when you do come across any lactose that's in the body, it helps to break down. So you get the reduction of the buildup of that lactose and therefore you don't get the symptoms. It's also great because it's fortified with a lot of calcium and vitamin D, 
which helps you with the nutrients and absorption of the nutrients because as you know calcium is found in milk and you can't completely avoid that and it tastes really great so you don't have to worry about adding extra sugars or adding extra ingredients it's already naturally sweet it just makes life a lot easier as we've discovered with some amazing recipes how often you can still enjoy mm. all of those wonderful things we love in a kitchen even something like a milk tart without the milk yeah with, um, no like it really does help um doctor thank you so much um <laughs> i like the fact that i like the analogy i really do understand it now <laughs> um, i think the no like what it does is it reintroduces a mom a surrogate mom into your gut <laughs> to help to break down those those enzymes um thank you so much we're going to continue this discussion um around our no lack obviously what the, the the plethora of opportunities that it offers you in terms of of baking and cooking um but also um just what living with lactose intolerance means and how we can avoid that Clover No Lack, lactose-free milk that lets you enjoy dairy again. Made with love by Clover.